few days ago you could not even walk this way or this much you could be very much tired and sweating a lot but right now the temperatures i think they have gone down It has been very very hot in Mombasa, very very hot in Mombasa uh, but now the weather is uh, cooling off like uh, the temperature going down we're experiencing some little bit of rain and that's very nice because even the residents of Mombasa have been complaining that uh, uh, it has been very very hot here in Mombasa and when the visitors come they always suffer so much especially those people are coming from uh, outside country like uh, Europe and also people from Nairobi always complain so much about our heat here in Mombasa now guys I'm in uh, Marikiti area buying and selling of stuff here this is the market so this is the Mombasa CBD area this is the Marikiti area this is the Marikiti area guys this is how it is. So guys, this is the market area. This is the Mombasa CBD. This is how it is. It has changed for the better. We have new buildings over here. Amazing buildings, guys. This is how it is. Wow. So this is still Marikiti. Here in Mombasa CBD. So guys, this, uh, when you go this side, you go to Mwembetayari area, and uh, when you go this side, you go to Posta, and this stage here is called uh, the Baroda Posta. So this is Baroda Posta, guys, and we have the mosque here in front of me. This one is the, the biggest mosque here in the Mombasa CBD. It's called Masij Konzi. Masij uh, massaged Gonzi uh, mosques. Wow. So here is Baroda Posta, Baroda Posta area. And the means of transport here in Mombasa so much are uh, matatus and tuk-tuks. That's why you can see so many tuk-tuks around. Very, very many tuk-tuks around. So, uh, so this one is the mosque. So guys, this one here is Huduma Center. Huduma Center right here. The poster area. And I'll be taking this road here. This road here takes you to Old Town. 
you can see there Huduma Center. Huduma Center. So this road here takes you to Old Town, the area of Old Town. So I'll be taking this road here, showing you around how Mombasa looks like uh, when the weather is cool because uh, it has been hot uh, for a while here in Mombasa. The temperature has been very, very high, but now the temperatures have, uh, have gone down and people are back to hustling, walking, uh, just uh, working for their families and relatives and people are out here working guys. So this is how it is. Even me, I can walk uh, in this area or in Mombasa walking for a while because uh, few days you could not be you could not even walk for long distances because of the heat but right now things have changed I can walk and I'm not sweating and that's very very nice walking but not sweating so that's amazing I think this is the beginning of old town In front of me there, there is um, Makadara Grounds. Just in front of me there, Makadara Grounds. And uh, look at how this area looks like, guys. Wow. So this one is Makadara Grounds on the other side, Makadara Grounds. But on this side is where you're going to the area of uh, Old Town, Old Town area. I can even smell the sense of uh, Waswahili. We have Udi, we have shops here that uh, sell, sell uh, shukas and uh, Buibuis and Makanzu. Uh, all of these shops here for the Swahili people selling all kinds of Swahili dresses, Swahili, uh, what do you call the Swahili uh, attires and everything, and the traditional uh, clothes for the Swahili people. Heading to Old Town on the other side. So Makadara Grounds is on the other side. Wow. And also in front of me there is a uh, there's a restaurant which is very popular for uh, selling uh, Swahili food. Uh, the restaurant is called Tarbush. Tarbush is one of the restaurants which is very very popular for selling. Uh, soily food and soily snacks, juice and everything. Uh, the restaurant is called Tarbush. Tarbush restaurant. It is just in front of me over there. And also there is the central police uh, in front of, uh, just beside uh, Tarbush. So this is how Mombasa looks like and it is kind of clean here in the Mombasa CBD compared to other cities I think Mombasa is uh, becoming very very clean the Tarbush restaurant there is the Tarbush restaurant so that is Tarbush a cafe or restaurant there is where you can find most of the Swahili food and snacks and also juice so when you go this side, you go to Old Town, the other side of Old Town. But I'll be taking this road here. The central police is just in front of me on the other side. Tarbush there, that's the Tarbush restaurant. Last one there is the Tarbush restaurant. I think now it's closed because uh, it's a... Uh, it's closed because uh, uh, of the uh, closing of uh, the Swahili because uh, they are fasting right now. The Swahili uh, community is fasting right now, so 
uh, the restaurant is closed uh, because the uh, restaurant owner is a Swahili guy and also they are not supposed to eat during this time of uh, fasting they only eat during the evening time so it's like um, it's like uh, a ceremony or it's like a festival to them uh, it's like Christmas to us so they are really fasting during this uh, month uh, because of their religious region uh, and it, is, uh, it has always been like this so so let me the other side so most of the Swahili restaurants now are very closed uh, because of that uh, they are fasting so there's no need for you to be in a restaurant and you're fasting and uh, you can smell this kind of beautiful food and uh, tasty food and uh, you are just there fasting it is very very hard for them that's why they have decided to close their restaurant so that they can rest and also celebrate their eating victory very well so yeah that's why you can see most of the restaurants closed here all of this area is the area of old town you see how beautiful it is restaurants most of the time these restaurants are always open during the evening time so that's why you can see they are closed right now evening time is the time that they are open so so much is happening here during the evening time right now nothing is happening people are just everywhere anywhere nothing is happening so yeah wow this is good most of the parking lots here are very full and the city council of mombasa always charge these people for parking in these roads so they pay just a little bit of money for that they are on the other side very beautiful restaurant look at that amazing restaurant wow this is good wow. see how it is this is good and this road here takes you to fort jesus for those people who know for jesus this road here takes you to fort jesus and the other side of old town in front of me is the treasure square the Mombasa Law Court. So in front of me there is uh, the Treasure Square, the Mombasa Law Court. And uh, when you go on the right direction, on the left direction, you head to uh, Old, uh, or you head to Fort Jesus. Fort Jesus area is on the other side. just cross the road so that I can finish my video at Fort Jesus this side of, uh, of Mombasa is very very clean very very clean guys look at this so in front of me there is the treasure square the Mombasa law court uh, if you are familiar with Mombasa you can know this the Mombasa law court is on the other side on the other side the treasure square and on this side you head to Fort Jesus so there is where I'm heading so that I can finish my video. So, yeah. Wow. Nice. Wow. So there is the treasure square. And this road here takes you to Fort Jesus area. So let's head this way. So that I can finish my video on the other side. Jesus wow this is the Bank of India the Bank of India the biggest bank in Mombasa the Bank of India look at this road heading to Fort Jesus one of the amazing roads I've ever seen 
and it's very clean guys i don't know if because it is just close to the four jesus or what so guys it has been nice and uh, look how the temperature temperatures are is because a uh, few days ago you could not even walk this way or this much you could be very much tired and uh, sweating a lot but right now the temperatures i think they have gone down and it is kind of cool just a little bit of cool the humidity of the air is down and it's kind of cool very cool not that so much cool but a little bit cool this is amazing and uh, yeah i just love it mombasa sometimes can be very very hot but uh, when the temperatures goes down mombasa uh, weather is always very very nice and very very beautiful so yeah this is amazing guys so here is the area of Fort Jesus. This is the area of Fort Jesus. Look how beautiful this area looks like, guys. Uh -huh. Very nice. Wow. Fort Jesus is on the other side. So we are already at Fort Jesus area. guys we are at Fort Jesus that's for Jesus guys see how it is see how beautiful how beautiful it is so that's for Jesus so if you're not familiar with this area and this is the way to for Jesus I've come this far end of the road and now I'm here at Fort Jesus. The entrance is over there. So if you are, you want to visit Fort Jesus, this is the place. This is the amazing place to visit. Wow. Let me just go to the other side and show you how it is. this side see what the writing have said notice for Jesus World Heritage Site this area is declared national monument uh, monu monument and a national museum and uh, heritage at 206 prohibited littering everything Dumping site and everything. Wow. Yeah, bro. It's a Kubalio area. I'm a... Okay. Ah, Santa. Jambo, Jambo. Okay. Wow. See how this thing. I think these were the uh, the weapons that were used uh, by the fighters to fight enemies and everything. That's why they have placed it here. This is pure iron, guys. This is pure iron. And it is cold. Wow. Interesting. So, guys, this is Fort Jesus. This is how Fort Jesus look like. Wow. It's huge. Wow, guys. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing piece of art. Very, very beautiful. So, if you want to enter Fort Jesus, there's an entry on the other side you pay some fee then you go in and also you can you can also um, pay someone to take you around to just uh, give you the history of Fort Jesus how it was built how it was formed all the history of Fort Jesus you are welcome in Mombasa this is how uh, Mombasa is this is how beautiful Mombasa is and it has changed for the better so this is the pillar and this is the pillar here in Fort Jesus I don't know uh, the history of this pillar but uh, there is a writing here in the memory of Arthur John Bing. Uh -huh. commandment the officer and men of the Arab uh, refiles who laid down their lives in defense of Mombasa and this course during the great war wow. okay 
so the Arabs wow this is good this place is just amazing you can just sit here and just relax very beautiful place to sit and relax wow. so guys it has been nice and um, Mombasa have really changed for the better and uh, this is beautiful this is just amazing place and uh, even Mombasa is a very amazing place to stay in Mombasa to move around at, and know so much about Mombasa it has really changed Mombasa in terms of roads infrastructure and how uh, the CBT looks like and also um, the temperature also it has changed so much and I'm very very happy to to see all this so thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you like the video and hope you like the tour of Mombasa CBD and this area of uh, Fort Jesus if you want to come to Fort Jesus the, uh, the road that I've, I've taken you and if you watch all the video you will know uh, all the way from the CBD to this area of uh, Fort Jesus and you can just enter in pay some fee and also just enjoy the history of this area of Fort Jesus and this Fort Jesus uh, museum so thank you so much for watching hope you see, uh, uh, you like this video and if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe share uh, uh, support me with the super thanks so, so that I can able to uh, to go on doing these videos and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.